Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make this Thai front papillon crop top. It's very flowy and just an easy top to put on for like a summer picnic or to the beach. So I have this old shirt and I still really love the fabric of this. So I'm going to keep the shirt and transform it into a papillon crop top. The first supplies you will need, paper, a ruler, a marking device, a fabric marker, fabric shears, scissors, some pins, thread, measuring tape, and a bikini that we're going to use to draft a pattern for this top. And also an old shirt or any fabric you want to use. So first off, we're going to take the paper and we're going to take the padding out of the bikini top. And then we're going to spread open the bikini top until it lays flat. Next, you're going to mark your center front, the side of it, the bottom, and the top of the bikini top. After that's done, you can remove the top. Then using the bottom point, we're going to draw a straight line across. Next, we're going to connect all the dots together. Next, I'm going to draw a 3 and 3 quarter inch line. After that's done, I'm going to connect it to the top point. And I'm going to mark where my center front is. For my tie front straps, I'm going to make them 12 and a half inches long. So from the center front point, I'm going to uh, mark 12 and a half inches long and then we're going to connect it to the top point again. Next I just added in one half seam allowances all the way around. To make the back piece we're going to measure ourselves. So I'm going to measure myself right under my bust line and it's about 25 and a half inches long. I'm going to use that measurement to make the back piece. So to make the back piece I'm going to draw one straight line and I'm going to mark where the center back is. Then measure three and three quarter inches long. And then using my bust measurement, which was 25 and a half inches long, I'm gonna divide that by four. So that's six and three eighths inches long. So I'm gonna draw a line that's six and three eighths inches long. After that's done, I'm gonna connect the two points and put one half inch seam allowances all the way around. Next, we're going to make the bottom peplum part of the top. So I'm going to measure a line about 10 inches long and about 5 and a half inches long. And then I'm going to add 2 inches to the bottom line and then connect these two points together. And I'm just going to draw in a dotted line just so I know where my center front is. And then we're going to put half inch seam allowances all the way around. Okay, we're going to make the back uh, papillon part of the top. So I'm going to make a 10 by 5 and a half inches long rectangle. And then we're going to put in one half inch seam allowances all the way around. I made my straps. 15 inches by 1 inches long. Alright, so you should have a front pattern piece, a back pattern piece, a back peplum pattern piece, and a front peplum pattern piece, and also a strap piece. So for my shirt, I'm going to cut off the sleeves. I'm going to cut down the sleeve inseam line. After I have my sleeve all cut out, I'm going to lay it flat and it should look like this. I went ahead and cut off the front part of the shirt and it looks like the front pattern piece actually fits these two parts of the shirt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold these pieces in half and then I'm going to place my pattern piece on top and pin it down and cut out the pattern piece. And you want to cut out two pieces because you need one for your right side of the body and the left side of the body. So this just makes the step a little bit easier since you're cutting out two pieces at once. So 
I'm gonna fold the back part in half because we're gonna work smarter and not harder. We're gonna cut out two pieces at once. So I'm gonna lay all my pattern pieces onto here and see how I like how they're laid out before I cut anything out. So that looks great to me. For the center back piece, I'm going to cut out two of these because I'm going to make a lining for the back piece. So taking the front pattern piece we made earlier, we're going to use this to make the front lining piece. So remember when I marked where the center front is? I'm going to lightly mark a dotted line to signify where the center front is. Then I'm going to measure an inch away and mark the new center front line. So after that, you're just going to take that piece and fold it on that line and just tuck away the tail part. And then taking the same front piece, we're going to fold it over again and place this pattern piece right on the fabric. So pin this piece down and cut fabric out for this piece. And after you've cut it out, you should have two pieces like this. So we're going to sew the lining pieces first. I'm going to take the center back lining piece and sew it to the front lining piece. So I'm putting the right side of fabric facing down for all these pieces. And then I'm going to sew a straight stitch down right here and right here. So after that's done, I'm just going to iron it out and it should look something like this. Now we're going to sew the right side of the crop top. I'm just getting the pieces ready for this. We should have three pieces. And again, I'm putting the right side of the fabric facing down and you're going to sew a straight stitch for right here and right here. After that's done, you're going to sew it down and it should look like this. And remember the sleeves that we cut off earlier? We're going to use this and I'm going to align both the sleeve pieces on top of each other. Then I'm going to put the back peplum piece on here. But I just realized that this is two separate fabrics, so we're going to have to make a half inch seam allowance for the center back part. So just remember when you're cutting this piece out to leave a half inch seam allowance. So after you cut that out, it should look like this. And remember to leave a half inch seam allowance right where the center back seam is. So we're going to sew all the pieces of the bottom peplum part of the crop top together. And you should have four total pieces for this. For these four pieces, I'm going to sew a French seam. So I'm going to sew the wrong sides facing each other. So first I'm going to sew a straight stitch right down here. After that's done, it should look like this. And we're just going to cut it down so it's about one eighth inch long seam allowance and then we're going to flip this over and sew a quarter inch seam allowance line right here and it should look like this after you're done sewing it and i'm just gonna iron it out so it looks a little bit nicer so after it's ironed out it should look like a clean finished seam and i really like using this french seam when i don't have a serger to use so the fabric doesn't unravel after you've sewn all four pieces together, it should look like this in the end. And then we're going to sew a quarter inch rolled hem all the way around, except for the top part of this. For the top part, we're going to do a basting stitch, and the SBI, I believe, is 7 or 8. And SBI is stitches per inch. Alright, so after that, you've sewn two basting lines and we're taking the two top threads and we're going to hold on to the bottom threads and kind of pull the fabric so we get this roughly effect. Once you've pulled your fabric through, it should match up with the lining piece. And I put the lining piece on top of the front piece. We should have three pieces in total now. The ruffled peplum part should match the lining piece. And we're going to sew a quarter inch rolled seam on the two sides of the lining piece. 
this is the order of how we're gonna sew these pieces together. So I put the front piece wrong side down and then I'm gonna put the peplum piece over the front piece so the right sides are touching each other. And then after that, I'm gonna put the lining piece on top with the right side facing down. I'm going to pin the lining piece to the peplum piece because we want to make sure that these pieces match up exactly. After that is done, I'm going to pin down the front part of the crop top and pin it down to the lining and the peplum part. After that, you're going to sew it. And make sure to change your SPI back to 11 and 12. And on my sewing machine, that's I turned the dial to two and a half. So yeah, this is what it looks like. You can kind of see the top forming together now. I'm going to pin down where I want my straps to be. And I'm going to try on the top to see if I like how long my straps are. Alright, so time for the straps. I'm going to measure three and a quarter inches away from the side seams. That's where I'm going to place my back straps. So for my straps, I know I like 13 inch long straps, so I'm gonna make my straps 13 inches long. So yeah, just marking with my fabric marker 13 inches long for my straps. And we're gonna do that to the other strap as well. I just placed them right by each other because I figured it'd be easier. So we're gonna pin our back straps down. See where I marked my straps? I'm gonna pin it a half inch away from the edge of the fabric. I'm gonna pin it down right there. So I just made sure my straps were lying the same side up. We're going to tuck in the peplum part of the top. We're going to sandwich it between the lining and the front side of the top. Then we're going to pin these two pieces together. So I made sure the side seams match the side seams of the lining. And we're just gonna trim off the excess of the straps. We're gonna clip the seam allowance part of where we just sewn. So when we flip the fabric, it'll be easier to flip. And I'm doing about an inch or so between each clipping. Okay, I'm just gonna sneak my way through and then grab the other side and we're just going to flip it over. And I realized that this part may be a little bit tricky so you might have to ask somebody with smaller hands because I kind of struggled. <laughs> so maybe ask like a younger sibling. For the two tie front straps, we're going to sew a quarter inch rolled hem all the way around. After it's done, it should look like this. I'm just going to put in some padding because this fabric was really thin for my personal liking. And I just feel more comfortable with the padding in. You can use bikini paddings if you have those too and put them in here. I just bought some cheap ones off of Amazon and I just kind of reuse and recycle it through different tops I have. And you can also use these for um, different bikini tops you have or if you've like lost padding for a bikini top you can also use these too. They're super handy and great. I also like to use them for different dresses I've sewn or like different sewing projects. But yeah that is the end of the tutorial and now I'm just going to model this for you guys to show you how cute this top is.
if you do make it, please tag me. I would really love to see if someone makes this top. I'll include a link to my Instagram down below. That is it for this tutorial and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!